The challenges of the pandemic will pass and we'll need more quality hotels. If this is your dream, do you know how to start a hotel business? Stay with me and I'll share what you need to know. Welcome to another edition of Hospitality Property School. I am your instructor, Jerry McPherson. If you haven't subscribed yet, do it now and make sure to hit the little bell so you'll be informed when I upload a new video. You won't want to miss anything I designed especially for you. If you ever wondered how to start a hotel business, you're not alone. Even as we come to terms with COVID-19, the dream of owning a hotel is alive and well. And it's more important than ever for aspiring hoteliers to be strategic and attentive. So where should you start? You have to determine if operating a hotel is a good fit for you, what it takes to operate a successful hotel, and what are going to be the upfront costs. What is the number one skill necessary for a hotelier? You need to be able to manage and work with a diversified workforce. Not everyone will be your clone or even have your understanding of how things should work. To be honest, having employees that are not able to think for themselves can be a counter to the greater good. A great hotel owner must be the go-between for their employees, understand their needs, and be open-minded. Diversity in your employees will help your property shine. Continue reading and I'll share what else you need to know when starting a hotel, right after word from our sponsor. Question for hotel, resort, inn, bed and breakfast, etc. owners and managers. What if knowing how to open your hospitality property doors post COVID-19 and giving your guests such a safe and amazing experience that they will not only want to return, but will rave to their friends, family and colleagues about how great your place is was as easy as cooking. Sound weird? Let me explain. Reopening your hospitality property using the post-COVID-19 action plan. No guessing, no testing, no wasted time. Just follow the proven recipe and make your property cook. Click the link for more information and happy cooking. Before the break, I said I would share what else you need to know when starting a hotel. What are some personality traits of great hotel owners? You have to be well-rounded, with at least a very basic understanding of marketing, sales, revenue management, designer innovation management, technology, and employee development. You must have the ability to work with and listen to people who are better skilled in aspects of hotel operation or are unconventional thinkers. You have to be able to offer and take constructive criticism. You need to have the desire to serve. You definitely have to have an entrepreneurial mindset. You may not be dealing face to face with your guests every minute of every day, but your approach will filter down through management to your employees. A prosperous hotel is always born from the culture of its top management. And the culture of the top management is always born from the hotel owner. To be specific, the qualities of successful small hotel owners include eagerness to serve, a desire to delight guests, good leadership skills, determination, an excellent work ethic, good physical and mental health, capable of multitasking, especially in the beginning when you may not be able to afford all the staff you need. What makes an outstanding hotel? What makes an outstanding hotel depends on its target clientele and what appeals to them. It's all about the experience. If your hotel caters to families, then you have to make sure that all family members can be delighted and content. Let me give you an example of what a top tier family hotel would include. Great location. Year round activities for the whole family, including holiday programs for the children, play spaces, a relaxed atmosphere, plenty of complimentary services, a diverse kids menu, cleanliness, friendly and helpful employees. On the other hand, an extravagant hotel 
will have elegant furnishings and would be able to offer high-caliber services that your more average hotel wouldn't usually contemplate. From the aspect of day-to-day -day service, employees would be highly trained and authorized to do whatever it takes to satisfy their guests. Your most important consideration is whether you can offer something that other hotels in your area, including brand properties, do not. Finally, your location. It must cater to the needs of your target market. Is it close to a train station or other public transportation? Are there attractions, entertainment, and eating establishment within walking distance? Are these making sense so far? Leave a message and let me know. What does it cost to start a hotel business? Well, the range is totally based on your location and country. For example, a small hotel in the U.S. could start at a million dollars and go up to 22 million for a 115 room property. You might have to take into consideration the type of hotel you would like. A motel, boutique, or five-star hotel. The purchase price of land or an existing building. Pre-opening capital. Construction costs, the number of rooms, restaurants, meeting spaces, furnishing and decor, licenses and permits, franchise or management fees, marketing expenses, employee wages. Can a hotel be profitable? As we have witnessed in the last couple of years, there are many variables that could affect the bottom line. According to the EBITDA margin, or the measure of a company's operating profit as a percentage of its revenue, a well-run hotel should typically run at a 25-40% to 40 profit, but a poorly run hotel may not be profitable at all. If you are a member of the Hospitality Property School Group, as a bonus, I'm going to share ways to raise startup capital for your hotel. In conclusion. It is extremely important that you prepare yourself well. Do a lot of research and make sure to develop a detailed business plan to ensure success. Over the next number of episodes, I'll be going into more detail of how to start a hotel business. Have you thought about starting your own hotel? How far did you get? Let me know in the comments. We are going to cover more in all aspects of operating a hospitality property in the Guide to Owning and Operating a Hospitality Property Successfully course. Take advantage of the current course special. To find more information, visit keystonehpd.com slash course. You are going to have access to this episode for as long as you would like, but if you would like to see all the bonuses we offer as a member of the Hospitality Property School Group, check out the short video in this episode post show notes. In our next episode, I will talk about the first steps to starting a hotel or resort. That's it for today's episode. Until next time, have a fun day. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you sign up for Insider Tips. Hey, say hi to us on social and join one of our groups. And make sure you get your free copy of the How to Improve Your Hospitality Property Success. You can find all of the links in the show notes.